Hi, it's Dr. Ronnie here. In my last video, I talked about um, some supplements for glaucoma that have been uh, scientifically proven to be of benefit. Um, and so in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be talking about a host of other supplements and compounds, natural compounds, that may potentially have benefit for glaucoma, but have not yet been scientifically proven. So basically that means that there has not been a, a prospective study um, or even a retrospective study to prove that these are beneficial, even though theoretically they may be beneficial. So let's go through what some of these compounds may be. We'll start with some A's. So uh, first of all, there's alpha lipoic acid or ALA. Now, uh, maybe some of you have heard of alpha lipoic acid. It's considered a very strong antioxidant. And we do know that uh, some of the, uh, the damage in glaucoma comes from oxidative stress and oxidation. So, uh, so potentially alpha lipoic acid could protect against that oxidative damage. Um, it is not so commonly found in foods. Unfortunately, there's no great dietary sources of alpha, li alpha lipoic acid. So um, it's either made by our bodies or it can be taken as a supplement. The other compound, which is also an antioxidant, which uh, may potentially have tremendous benefit for glaucoma is astaxanthin. Now astaxanthin is considered the super antioxidant, kind of the antioxidant of all antioxidants. It's much, much more potent than many other antioxidants combined. For example, even uh, more potent than alpha lipoic acid, more potent than vitamin A, E, C, even glutathione. So um, astaxanthin is made by algae, a specific kind of algae that's called Haematococcus pluvialis. Um, these algae uh, grow in harsh conditions. They, um, they're exposed to bright sunlight, uh, lack of uh, nutrients, lack of water. And so the, uh, the algae, interestingly, they develop this um, antioxidant to protect their own DNA. So these algae have been around for probably billions of years and their DNA has been preserved because of astaxanthin. And so, um, so astaxanthin is made by these algae, but uh, marine animals oftentimes ingest the algae and then they get that astaxanthin. And then uh, humans then may eat those marine animals and get astaxanthin through diet. Um, astaxanthin is a red pigmented molecule. Um, it is considered a carotenoid, similar to uh, beta carotene, for example, or lutein or zeaxanthin, but it, it has more of a red pigment to it. And that's why marine species who eat astaxanthin, for example, uh, salmon, wild salmon, uh, rainbow trout, uh, certain kinds of shrimp, particularly arctic shrimp and krill have kind of a pinkish or beautiful pinkish or red color because of that astaxanthin that they've ingested from the algae. So astaxanthin again is a very potent antioxidant uh, believed to be uh, helpful for all kinds of eye conditions for example, macular degeneration, cataracts, and possibly even glaucoma have not yet been formally studied. So the next, um, the next compound I'm gonna be talking about that may potentially benefit glaucoma is carnosine. Now carnosine is, it's not an antioxidant, it's actually a protein that's found in muscle. So you may ask, you know, if it's found in muscle, why would it be potentially helpful for glaucoma? Um, I don't have a great answer for that, though from what I've read, it's been thought to be very helpful for all kinds of eye conditions, including cataracts. Perhaps it, it may have an antioxidant um, a role. There's another C compound that I did want to talk about, which many of you have probably heard of in relation to glaucoma, and that is cannabis or marijuana. Now, there were some studies dating back several decades ago in which cannabis was used uh, to help lower eye pressure. And yes, there was a temporary decrease in eye pressure, but that effect was not sustained. So it was only sustained for a couple of hours and then the effect wore off. So even though you may hear um, that, uh, oh, marijuana is good for glaucoma, it can lower eye pressure, there is no um, long-term scientific data to suggest that it really is a benefit. Uh, perhaps there will be some studies that are, that are you know, done and published in the future, but nothing as of yet. And keep in mind that uh, the, the potential uh, duration of action is quite short, so only perhaps a couple of hours. So you can imagine that um, you know, in order to maintain that effect, you would have to dose pretty frequently. So I did want to talk about also um, another C compound, which is coenzyme Q10. And so many of you probably know it as CoQ10. Some people may know it as ubiquinol or mito-Q, but coenzyme Q10 is a natural compound in our bodies. It's very important in the electron transport chain for our mitochondrial health, for energy production. So it's also been thought to be potentially beneficial in glaucoma. 
Um, again, it has not been formally studied, even though there are many different kinds of supplements out there on the market, which are CoQ10. Um, unfortunately, the bioavailability of those supplements is not great. And the reason is because Quenzyme Q10 is actually a very long molecule and it doesn't really get absorbed um, into our body and actually into our cells very well. So, um, so ubiquinol is a synthetic form of Coenzyme Q10. It's believed to actually get into our cells a little bit better. I found that um, in my research that MitoQ, M-I-T-O-Q, uh, which is also a synthetic form of Coenzyme Q10, it uh, potentially has much better bioavailability because not only is it significantly shorter, but it also has a charge that allows it to be absorbed into the cell membrane and um, it's also a very potent antioxidant. Again, uh, theoretically beneficial for glaucoma. Um, and then the last supplement I'm gonna be talking about or comp plant-based compound I'm gonna be talking about today is saffron. So saffron is a, it comes from a plant. It's actually the stigma of a, of a flower and um, it's, it's probably considered one of the most expensive spices uh, available today because it takes quite, it's really, um, in terms of harvesting saffron, you need quite a you know very large amount, quantity of flowers to get even a single ounce of saffron. And saffron, uh, we don't exactly know how it may work for glaucoma. Um, it is thought to be anti-inflammatory. Um, it's also been studied in macular degeneration in a very, very small study, and it's been thought to be beneficial for macular degeneration, but I think the jury is still out about whether it may potentially be beneficial for uh, glaucoma as well. Again, it's available as a spice, as a supplement. Um, so, uh, so I just wanted to make you aware of some of these um, uh, potential compounds out there, natural and plant-based compounds that are out there for glaucoma that you may hear about. I really do hope that in the upcoming years that there will be some solid evidence uh, you know, some, some research done uh, with evidence to either uh, prove that they are beneficial or possibly even negate their, their beneficial effects. So either way, um, I do look forward to studies. Unfortunately, because um, there is no big pharma supporting uh, studies and supplements or using some of these plant-based compounds, um, it's very difficult to get funding. So um, that's just my two cents here in terms of uh, use, the use of supplements and scientific evidence for uh, their use in glaucoma. So, uh, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it and uh, stay tuned for my next video.